Cheers. I didn't know we were tapping, but it's all good. Always tap, bro. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chris and this is David. We're with Drop the Disc Podcast and we're here at the Savannah River Brewing Company here to do our five and five. David's gonna tell us a little bit about what that is. That's right, and our goal right now is to get to know the members of Savannah River Brewing Company in about five minutes, give or take, uh, with five questions. So today we have... I'm Ann Walstotter. I am the assistant brewer here at SRBC and a certified Cicerone. She's about to dazzle us with some knowledge. Uh, yes. Chris, do you wanna go ahead and kick us off? All right. Right, so I got my questions on my phone and I'm ready to go. What makes Savannah River Brewing Company special to you, Ann? It's a big family. Um, I was an army brat and bounced around the country a lot and it's nice to kind of feel settled somewhere and settled with a group of people. All of my family is spread across everywhere so I don't have much family in town, but mm -hmm. the brewery has become my family. Um, and I get to do what I love. I get to make beer. And yeah. I mean, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I get to experiment with a bunch of different beers because I do most of the small batch stuff here. So if right. I feel like doing something crazy or, hey, I'm really in the mood for this type of beer right now, I can just go back there and go brew it. Um, That's awesome. And then I can have it in a couple weeks. That's really awesome, man. And, I'm jealous. And so as an assistant brewer, you spend a lot of time in the brewery. Yeah, and it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our second question for you is, uh, where do you spend time outside of the brewery? Um, I like to go kayaking a lot. Um, love going uh, like Betty's Branch, down the river, uh, like between Savannah Roberts Pavilion and Stevens Creek Dam. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. Um, just, I love being outside. Um, just, I'm used to the heat already because of the brew house, so... Um, Outside of that, I do a lot of reading. Um, I do some sewing, that kind of thing. That's awesome. We would not have guessed the the last part of that answer. The sewing? Yeah. <laughs> so, Ann, what kind of beer do you prefer to drink? And what's your all-time favorite at Savannah River Brewing Company? So, asking a brewer what their favorite beer is, is kind of sucks, because <laughs> it's going to depend on my mood, the time of year. I like pretty much all beer. Is that um, like a what's your favorite children question? Kind of, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I go for a little bit more historical and malty styles. Um, I love IPAs, I have nothing wrong with an IPA, um, nothing wrong with sours, I still enjoy them. Um, I just get, it seems like everybody's doing those right now, and so I'm kind of going my own direction. You wanna be hipster. Um, <laughs> I I like some more multi styles. My favorite SRBC beer, um, it's probably the Double that I've done. Mm. Um, we're actually going to come out with that on the big system in the next few months. Heck so. yeah! Okay, and then we're going to go right into this, uh, which is our user submitted question on Facebook from Rebecca Alwyn. Uh, thank you to Rebecca. Uh, I guess she goes to Brian's gym, so she's a friend of the family here. Um, and she asks, and how did you get into brewing? Um, so I got into brewing kind of through my dad. My dad started home brewing um, when he was stationed in Hawaii uh, when I was four. And wow. it was kind of the, here, I'm making beer today, but here, stir this, get a little older. And he's trying to teach me how to do measurements. Here, measure this out, measure the grain out, measure the hops. It was kind of a, a teaching thing when I was four. And then in high school, coming back out here to Augusta, it was more the science behind everything. Mm -hmm. All right, well, what does this match temperature do? What does, right. um, why do you add this hop here instead of here? Right. Um, and then after college and that, I started home brewing as well. Uh, my first batch was actually while I was on crutches, so that was fun. What was your first batch? My first batch was trying to make a clone of... Um, Samuel Adams Imperial White, a 10.3% wow. wit. <laughs> uh, wow, what did it come out? I don't remember. Because <laughs> that thing. was yeah. like 10 years ago. Wow. Almost, so. That's awesome. So, Anne, we're Drop the Disc Podcast, and we ask every guest on our podcast a question, Drop the Disc. What does that mean to you? And so what that means is if someone were to come up to you in Augusta, and basically just diss the city. What would what would your response be to them? 
what do you do in your life? Because there's there's tons of stuff to do in Augusta. And that's most time when I do ask them, okay, well, why are you complaining about Augusta? It's, oh, there's nothing to do here. We have a river. We have a lake. We have the uh, mountain biking trails. We have a baseball team. We... I've had a bunch of stuff. We get concerts in. Okay, they're not super, super massive big names, but we get some pretty darn good names coming through. Right. Yeah, Kevin Hart, come on now. <laughs> I, I mean, there's there's plenty of stuff to go do. You just have to actually get out and go do it. And I know, you know, COVID right now and all that, right. it's a little harder to do some of the bigger things, but get outside. Mm-hmm. We have a gorgeous area that we live in. Go outside and go do something. You can still social distance while you're out on the river or go for a run with somebody go out and be active it's it's gorgeous here enjoy it awesome thank you Anne. and and thank you so much for doing this interview with us uh we're the drop the disc podcast we're really happy to be here at savannah river brewing company and uh before we go let's take these beer shots it is Cheers, 8, guys. 8 30 a.m on a sunday <laughs> <All right. laughs>